the best opening ever, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it <laughs> is. This is total distortion. The great big game thing! Yep, that's all you need to know about this game. It's a great big game thing, which comes on an ultra super mega CD-ROM. Yes. <laughs> At some point it's gonna have to go off this bit. Yeah, let's begin. Begin total distortion. Yes, let's begin total distortion. Okay. Yeah, this thing's kind of loud. And down we go. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Ooh, it's like a first-person shooter. I can move backwards and forwards. <laughs> In first person. Yeah, okay. Oh, options. Alright. Alright. Up. Take name here. Let's dive. Okay. Mel. I need a capital D because that's how I roll. <laughs> um, ooh, goals. Okay, I actually sat down and figured out how this works. And by that, I mean I went on Google and checked. All right. So, if you choose Mega Wealth, then all you have to do is make money to win. All right. Mega Fame, you get by exploring the distortion dimension. Yeah. And Wealth and Fame, you need both to win, of course. All right. So, which are we going for here? Uh, well, we're going to want to go everywhere, so you might as well pick both. Now we could do. Or we could just go for, like, Famous, because we've already failed spectacularly the first time we tried this. Yeah, all right, Famous. Mega Fame. Mega Fame. Mega Fame. Get ready to pay the price. What will you be known for? Premature death? Yes. That's yes, face. we will. What is wrong with that guy's face? <laughs> I have right. no idea. Right, let's make it uh, quite easy, because... Yeah. Anyway, another thing we found out the first time we tried this is that this game is cruelly difficult. Yeah. You have to be very, very precise in what you do in order to get people to give you money. It and basically look... ended up with us making a horrible music video called Funky Tower. Yeah. Which everyone rejected and we pretty much starved to death. Yeah. So, prepare to be insulted. Level 2. Come on. Challenge yourself. For kids. Screw you. Okay, now <laughs> it's time to actually balance that out a bit, so I'm going to put the danger level up. Level four. Yeah, you might get killed. <laughs> um, you just see his eyes flash. Yeah. Glad he. So okay, I'm definitely that. turning that down. <laughs> right. Level three. A normal setting. A good balance of danger. There's no good balance of danger. Danger is bad. Okay, ready. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay. Return to Earth with 1550 fame points. Yippee, I guess. Go! Okay, since I'm fairly confident that none of you have an actual clue what the hell we're playing, this is a game from like 1994, based upon what looks like uh, grunge rock music, maybe? Uh, bad punk rock? I have no clue whatsoever. It's all bad, basically. But yeah. Anyway, here's intro movie number one to try and explain everything to you, so sit back and enjoy the following nonsense. You are an adventurous music video producer just starting out in your career. But before we can fully tell your tale, we must start at the beginning. We must go back six years to the time the devices first appeared. In 1992, on an alternate Earth, Strange devices of the religion appeared on the planet. At first, the governments of the world kept the machines under guarded study. 
After one year of testing and many fatalities, it was discovered that these machines would allow humankind to travel through the planes of existence. uses for the devices were discovered. It was found that objects and items could be teleported to another plane or dimension, and then instantly recalled back to any location on Earth. This revolutionized the industries of the planet. The alien devices required power sources to operate. Radio waves and other data streams require very little power. But objects such as books or packages took a little more power. Heavier items such as a car or laser cannon required much more power. Whole buildings were very expensive to transmit, costing up to millions of dollars in power costs. Devices were not as useful as it might appear. A peculiar side effect of interdimensional travel forces any Earth-born biological creature into a mysterious coma for six weeks. Many dimensionots died before this was fully understood. By 1993, all dimensionots traveled in a specially built coma tank. Coma tanks provide life support during the coma phase. Dimensionauts refer to them as soup closets because tank travelers float in a thick, shock-absorbing, nutrient-rich liquid. Hundreds of dimensions were discovered, each unique and strange. As scientists catalog dimensions large and small, a strange pattern began to emerge. Instead of completely alien worlds, they found that each dimension related in some way to the cultures of planet Earth. Get them out now! Even more perplexing was the discovery that the majority of the dimensions were directly geared towards children and teenagers. Uh-oh. <laughs> Many planes of existence seem to be built around popular cartoons, comic books, and movies. Hundreds of the smaller dimensions seem little more than shrines to popular rock stars, inhabited by superpowered beings resembling the popular musicians of Earth. The great minds of Earth tried to solve the mysteries of the dimensions and how they came to be. Many theories were circulated and debated. The most popular theory explained that dimensions were born into existence when a large number of people dreamed the same dream. It was found that young people were more powerful dreamers, and thus young people created the majority of the dimensions. You are an adventurous music video producer just starting out in your career. Recently, a distant uncle passed away, granting you millions of dollars in his will. In a bold move, you have decided to gamble the entire fortune on a risky adventure. You are leaving the planet on a one-way ticket to a little known dimension. Your mission? Find new and exciting material for your music videos. Destination is officially listed as Plane 1400556, but it is also known as the Distortion Dimension because of the abundance of loud guitar noise found there. Constructed a special building called the Personal Media Tower. 
This high-tech structure is small enough to be teleported into another dimension at a cost of only $1 million, yet big enough to serve as a comfortable base of operations. A special antenna keeps your tower in constant communication with Earth. On the top floor of the tower, you will find the tools of your trade. The kitchen, sleeping quarters, and engine room can be found on four other floors. This adventure will only succeed if you are able to make a profit. The personal media tower cost over two million dollars to build, and you paid one million to the U.S. government for transport. If you ever hope to see Earth again, you will have to raise another million just for the ride home. You'll need to find new and interesting material for your music videos. Create these videos, and then sell them to the television producers back on Earth. If the videos are hits, then you stand to make millions. However, if you fail to make this venture work, you'll be ruined financially. Even worse, you'll be stranded in a foreign dimension. If you run out of money, your power and food supply will slowly drain away. Unfortunately, the availability of usable food and power in the dimension of distortion is unknown at this time. You would most likely die of starvation, and the danger of being killed by hostile entities is very real. All for music videos. This game is younger than we are, and it looks like that. Awesome. It's quite an achievement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever wanted to teleport a whole building, I mean... Well, no, they didn't start that. They started as a logistics company. They were shipping boxes across the world and with a were... dimension transport device. Yeah, but it mentioned, like, teleporting whole buildings. Am I going to, like, steal Sydney Opera House or something? You could, you could nick a bank, couldn't you? You just have to pay the US government to use them. It's the perfect robbery. They all go into comas for six weeks, which gives you plenty of time to nick everything inside. Yeah, I guess. What the hell's this guy doing trying to like make music videos steal a bank damn it? Yeah. Um, he's putting his life on the line to make music videos. Whatever. We show you the other videos, but this one's just the rocket launching off and this one it's, makes you it's, it's nightmare fuel basically. It's we'll show it later, it just makes you want to die on yeah. so many levels. Ugh. Oh I got shot. <coughs> oh, that's it, let's play over. Okay. Yeah. Inside my coma tank, game counts on the bedroom floor. Ooh. <laughs> okay, is that a glitch? No. It's a candle. Um, okay. Okay. We're on a chair. Okay, so this is your bedroom, which, well, you can sleep in, I suppose. Now you think, oh, sleeping, that's a great way to regain health and energy. See, look, nice relaxing music and all. Well, that's where you're wrong. Yeah. First of all, you have to uh, turn sideways to get onto it, which is awkward. You go to sleep. You're falling asleep, and then this happens. Mini games! You are given a turret and expected to kill bad dreams before they reach your head. Moving at a very awkward pace. I win. It. You got it. Yep. You can choose between two mini games. This is the one we're picking for now, and it's also ridiculously difficult. Yeah. You can't go to sleep without doing mini games. This what game. they do is these things turn up, and you're expected to catch uh, the Z's while avoiding the skulls and things. Gotta catch some Z's, man. Whoa! The problem is, um, a lot of these things... I think the big Z's always drift off to the side, whilst medium ones go roughly where they are. So yeah, 